So if you're talking to a Jewish person who is a member of an Episcopalian church, for example, they likely do not envision embracing the covenantal responsibility of Jewish life and identity rooted in Torah, expressed in Jewish tradition, as a key marker of their religion or as a directive for how they express their faith in life and worship. However, this is the case for a Messianic Jew. You commonly hear the term Messianic Jew be used to refer to any Jewish person who follows Jesus as the Messiah. However, here at Two Messianic Jews, we don't find that definition very helpful or consistent with the historical definition of the term. First, if Messianic Jew simply means a Jewish person who follows Jesus as the Messiah, then that includes Jews who became members of Catholic, Orthodox, Protestant, or independent churches. The difference of theology and practices between Jews in these churches not only differ significantly from each other, but they all differ even more significantly from Jews in Messianic synagogues. It becomes really confusing to label all of them Messianic Jews rather than just describing them all as Jewish followers of Jesus. In Introduction to Messianic Judaism, Dr. David Rudolph defines a Messianic Jew as a Jew who believes in Yeshua and continues to live as a Jew as a matter of covenant, calling, or national duty before God. Dr. Rudolph notes that this definition arose in the late 19th and early 20th centuries by those who wanted to distinguish themselves from Jews who assimilated into the Gentile church after becoming a follower of Jesus. Jews who assimilated into churches upon accepting Jesus, but still at least claimed their Jewish heritage, were referred to as Hebrew Christians. About this phenomenon, Dr. Rudolph says, It is important to recognize that Jewish mission agencies did not promote Messianic Judaism. They facilitated Jewish evangelism and encouraged converted Jews to join Protestant churches, which assimilated these Jews into Gentile Christianity. Hebrew Christians who were employed by Jewish missionary societies did not typically live within the orbit of Judaism or identify as Torah faithful Jews. Most were fully at home in the symbolic universe of Gentile Christianity. Despite, or perhaps because of, this Gentile Christian context, some Jewish believers in Yeshua who came to faith through Jewish mission agencies refused to assimilate into Gentile churches. They wanted to continue to live as Jews. These individuals called themselves Messianic Jews to distinguish themselves from the majority of Hebrew Christians who saw little to no value in Judaism and who thought it was backsliding or heresy for Hebrew Christians to practice Judaism as a matter of covenant, calling, or national duty before God. An example of one of these early Messianic Jews was Philip Cohen, who in December 1910 published the first volume of a journal entitled The Messianic Jew which, according to Dr. Rudolph, promoted the importance of Yeshua-believing Jews living within the orbit of Judaism and embracing a Torah-observant life. So not only is the definition that Dr. Rudolph offers much more useful and precise, but it also maintains continuity with the earliest uses of the term we have on record. Another reason to define a Messianic Jew as a Jew who believes in Yeshua and continues to live as a Jew as a matter of covenant calling, or national duty before God is because the term Messianic Jew is so linguistically related to Messianic Judaism. Messianic Judaism is a community of Messianic synagogues and groups based around a body of theology and practices that are different enough from Christian denominations that we feel compelled to refer to our religious way of life as Judaism rather than Christianity. The earliest record of the term Messianic Judaism appears in the subtitle of a March 1895 issue of Our Hope, a monthly devoted to the study of prophecy and to Messianic Judaism. Messianic Jewish scholar and rabbi Dr. Jacob Rosenberg notes, When Hope of Israel, that's the publisher of Our Hope magazine, established its core values in 1896, they focused on Jewish believers' right to observe Jewish practices and the theological understanding that Jews did not need to convert to Christianity to follow the Jewish Messiah. Today, the Union of Messianic Jewish Congregations, that is the UMJC, defines Messianic Judaism in this way. The Union of Messianic Jewish Congregations envisions Messianic Judaism as a movement of Jewish congregations and groups committed to Yeshua the Messiah that embrace the covenantal responsibility of Jewish life and identity rooted in Torah, expressed in tradition, and renewed and applied in the context of the New Covenant, 
Messianic Jewish groups may also include those from non-Jewish backgrounds who have a confirmed call to participate fully in the life and destiny of the Jewish people. So if you're talking to a Jewish person who is a member of an Episcopalian church, for example, they likely do not envision embracing the covenantal responsibility of Jewish life and identity rooted in Torah expressed in Jewish tradition as a key marker of their religion or as a directive for how they express their faith in life and worship. However, this is the case for a Messianic Jew. To learn more about the history of Messianic Judaism and how the meaning of the term Messianic Jew became kind of watered down over time, check out our video, What is Messianic Judaism, after you watch this one. So now that we have clarified the original and most meaningful definition of Messianic Jew, let's quickly point out what a Messianic Jew is not before discussing what Messianic Jews believe and how we live and worship. First, a Messianic Jew is not just any Jewish follower of Jesus, as we've discussed, nor is a Messianic Jew a Jews for Jesus. So while there are Messianic Jews who are members of the Jews for Jesus organization, the vast majority of Messianic Jews are not members of this organization, nor is Jews for Jesus synonymous with Messianic Judaism. About this, Dr. Yaakov Ariel, a Jewish professor of religious studies at UNC Chapel Hill, writes, Jews for Jesus should not be confused with Messianic Judaism, despite some similarities between these groups. Next, a Messianic Jew is not a missionary with a defective moral compass who deceptively acts like a Jew to infiltrate Jewish communities and covertly attempt to persuade them to accept the gospel. This is abhorrent behavior that relies on the maxim, the ends justify the means, and a seriously flawed understanding of 1 Corinthians 9, 19-23. As Dr. Rudolph mentions in the definition, a Messianic Jew is motivated to maintain their Jewish identity because they sincerely believe that is what God has called them to do. Nor is a Messianic Jew a Hebrew roots or one law adherent. These are non-Jews who are convinced the New Testament teaches that they have the same responsibility to observe the Torah as Jewish people. For example, they think God holds them accountable to observe Shabbat and keep the dietary restrictions of Leviticus 11 and Deuteronomy 14. However, Acts 15 and 1 Corinthians 7, 17-20 clearly teach against this. They even frequently call themselves Messianic and sometimes even Messianic Jews. We find a lot of the caricatures the wider Jewish community attributes to Messianic Jews can be attributed to these Hebrew roots and one law groups. Nor is a Messianic Jew the same thing as a Messianic Gentile. A Messianic Gentile is a non-Jew who joins a Messianic synagogue and follows the norms of that community. We hold to the ongoing significance of both Jewish and non-Jewish identity, so it would undermine the value of non-Jewish identity if they were referred to as Jews. So check out our video, What is a Messianic Gentile, to learn more about that and how they differ from Hebrew roots and one law adherence specifically. All right, so now that we know what a Messianic Jew is and what a Messianic Jew is not, let's talk about what Messianic Jews believe and then how Messianic Jews live and worship. About God, Messianic Jews believe that there is one God who is the creator of all things and eternally existent in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You might hear Messianic Jews refer to God as Hashem or Adonai, and the Father as Abba, and the Holy Spirit as Ruach HaKodesh. About Jesus, Messianic Jews believe that the Divine Son became a human being, who we call Yeshua HaMashiach, or Yeshua the Messiah, who was born of the Jewish virgin Miriam, that is Mary, and lived the life of a perfect Israelite. And Messianic Jews believe Yeshua is both fully God and fully man forever. About atonement, the UMJC says, We believe Yeshua died as an atonement for the sins of Israel and of the entire world. He was raised bodily from the dead as the first fruits of the resurrection promised to Israel as its glorification. About the salvation provided by this atonement, the International Alliance of Messianic Congregations and Synagogues, the IAMCS, says, Man's only hope for redemption, that salvation, is through the atonement made by the Messiah, resulting in regeneration by the Holy Spirit, which is the new birth. For by grace we are saved through faith. It is a gift of God. About Israel, Messianic Jews believe the Jewish people have remained God's chosen people throughout history and possesses an irrevocable election. In their statement of faith, the UMJC says, 
God chose Israel, the Jewish people, and entered into an everlasting covenant with them so they might be the first fruits of a renewed humanity who would mediate blessing and restoration to all the nations of the world. In gracious love, God gave Israel the Holy Torah as a covenantal way of life and the Holy Land of Israel as an inheritance and pledge of the blessing of the world to come. Regarding scripture, Messianic Jews believe that all of the Tanakh and Brit Kadashah, that is the Old Testament and the New Testament, is the authoritative word of God. About this, Dr. Jacob Rosenberg says, The life and practice of a Messianic believer comes primarily from an interaction and interpretation of the Bible. As mentioned, Messianic Jews believe the Torah has ongoing relevance for the lives of Jewish and non-Jewish disciples of Jesus, but is relevant in different ways. About this, the UMJC says, The Torah is God's gift to Israel. It serves as the constitution of the Jewish people, and thus also of the Messianic Jewish community, which comprises Israel's eschatological first fruits. The Torah does not have the same role for Messianic communities from the nations, though it does provide spiritual nourishment as a witness to the Messiah. The Torah also provides universal norms of behavior and practical life teaching for all. The Torah is to be applied anew in every generation and in this age as is fitting to the new covenant order. In light of our affirmation that Israel remains God's chosen people and the Torah persists in relevance after Yeshua's resurrection, Messianic Jews strongly deny replacement theology. About this, Dr. Richard Harvey says in his book, Mapping Messianic Jewish Theology, their hermeneutic of scripture repudiates the tradition of Christian anti-Judaism and the meta-narrative of supersessionism that the church replaces Israel as the new Israel. About Jewish tradition, all Messianic Jews take part in Jewish tradition to some degree, but there's ongoing debate within Messianic Judaism about the proper view and application of Jewish tradition. The IAMCS does not comment on Jewish tradition in their statement of faith, and the UMJC articulates their view in this way. The Jewish tradition serves as the living link that connects us as contemporary Jews to our biblical past and provides resources needed to develop a Messianic Jewish way of life and thought. Furthermore, the Christian theological tradition offers riches of insight into the revelation of the Messiah and his will, and Messianic Jews need to draw upon this wealth. So those are many of the key beliefs of Messianic Jews. Now let's discuss Messianic Jewish practice. As I mentioned, all Messianic Jews observe Jewish tradition to some degree, but like the wider Jewish community, you will find a vast spectrum of observance. Some observe a little, others observe a lot, most observe somewhere in between. About the incorporation of Jewish tradition in our Shabbat services, Dr. Yaakov Ariel says, On the one end of the spectrum stand those who have been very hesitant to observe Jewish rites and customs and have adopted a liturgy close to that of non-Jewish congregations and on the other end, those who advocate extensive incorporation of Jewish rites, including reading from a Torah scroll, wearing yarmulkes during services, and placing an Ark of the Covenant in the sanctuary. None, however, have made the claim that there is a requirement to observe Jewish rites in order to be justified in the eyes of God. About the practices and traditions that are common throughout the Messianic Jewish community, Dr. Jacob Rosenberg says that Messianic Jews place a premium on synagogue-style worship, celebrating Jewish life cycle events replete with the biblically-based holidays, festivals, and calendar. So this means Messianic Jews fellowship on Shabbat, that is Friday night to Saturday night, where you will hear us recite Jewish liturgy like the Shema and read the weekly Torah and Haftorah portions with an additional reading from the New Testament. And it is at our synagogues where events like bar and bat mitzvahs are held, Jewish weddings where you will see us use the chuppah and smash a wine glass, and it's where we observe Jewish holidays like Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Sukkot, Passover, Shavuot, and also Jewish holidays not commanded by scripture like Hanukkah and Simchat Torah. Messianic Jews also circumcise their sons, keep varying degrees of kosher, and practice baptism, which Messianic leaders commonly link to the Jewish mikvah. As mentioned earlier, Messianic Jewish commitment to the Torah and use of Jewish tradition arises from our gratitude for God's salvation of the Jewish people out of Egypt, our salvation from sin through the death and resurrection of Yeshua, and our solidarity with our fellow Jews. It is a demonstration of our faith in Hashem and our commitment to maintain Jewish continuity 
not an attempt to earn eternal life. We Messianic Jews hope to bring the good news of Messiah to the rest of Israel and to the entire world in order for everyone to deeply experience the love of God, repent of their sin, and be filled with the Holy Spirit, thus enabling them to live a holy life unto the Lord. We express our own faith in ways that preserve our Jewish identity and prevents Jewish assimilation. This is recognized by Dr. Yaakov Ariel, who says, Messian Judaism has challenged traditional Christian and Jewish understandings of the boundaries between the two faiths on a number of levels. It has certainly offered an alternative to Jewish conversion to and disappearance into Christian society and culture. We consider ourselves to be members of Israel alongside our Jewish brothers and sisters and as members of the body of Messiah alongside our Christian brothers and sisters. We aim to be a witness of Yeshua from within Israel and a witness of Israel within the body of Messiah, all in the hopes that all will see that the God and Messiah of Israel is the God and Messiah of the entire world. If you learned something new, click the red subscribe button to receive notifications when we post new content. If you have any thoughts on what I've shared, please drop a comment below or send us an email at 2 at gmail.com. That is T-W-O, messianicjews at gmail.com. Thanks for joining us and see you next time.